Okay, you guys, so I'm going to try and do a video in the dark. Um, I just wanted to get into a subject, I guess. Um, I want to talk about how I had to block my friend. Um, you know, he's like this older guy who I met on like a friend app, like, I don't know, like four years back. And, um, I just want to talk about like how like I had to block him because he, he, he just kept on like boasting about like, you know, like how, you know, how he's able to travel and like, just how like, He's able to just go to all these places, all these, all these, um, yeah, he was just boasting about, like, how he was able to go to all these, like, places, and, um, yeah, I had to block him because, like, I just, I felt some sort of way about it, um, in a way, like, I, I just kind of felt jealous that, like, you know, I can't, I can't really travel anywhere, I can't really go anywhere right now because of, um, because of, like, the lack of money and everything. I mean, I, I still like him as a friend and everything, but, um, like, yeah, like, yeah, I needed, I had to block him because he just kept talking about, like, how, like, <laughs> Like, yeah, like, he was able to go to, like, all these places, you know, all these places, like, outside the U.S., and, like, and, yeah, it just made me feel some sort of way, like, like, okay, well, yeah, I, I, I can't do that because I can't, I can't do those things because I don't have money, <laughs> like, um, Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I thought of this stuff in my head just fine, but, like, it's, like, once I say it in my head, like, I can't really remember it anymore. And I'm trying to think of, like, the talking, the talking points I, I had made in my head when I was, when I was speaking to myself about it. But yeah, basically, it's just like, you know, all I want, all I want out of life is, um, you know, just me just like having like my own house and everything. But, you know. It makes me sad, it makes me upset that I can't really save up enough money to actually do the things I want to go and do. Um, you know, and it's hard, it's hard, it's hard to stay motivated. It's hard to stay motivated when you're by yourself. Um, it's hard, it's hard to like have that passion, that motivation to really, to really try and improve your situation, but it, it's hard because, like, you just don't, you just don't really have that much support, you know, like, Like, say you're like a, say you're like an introverted person like me, who doesn't feel like, you know, when you're an introverted person, I gotta say, when you're an introverted, when you're an introverted person and you see the clown show that's going on, right? You see the clown show, you see the clown show for, for what reality really is. And it's like you see these people, 
But it's just like you have, you know, when you're going to high school, middle school, all that, all that stuff. It's like you see these people, but you know, where is, where is the, uh, I don't know, like, where's the commonality between people? It's like, almost like when you go to these places, when you're in school, right? I'm I may, I'm recording a video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go to, when you go to school, right, you see all these people and, um, and it's just like you look around and um it's like it's like okay well you you have to try and make friends because realistically you know your family your immediate family they're not they're not going there with you right so you have to try and make connections you have to try and make friends with these people you don't know so, you know, it would have been easier if you went to school, right? You went to college, right? And you were going there with people that you already knew so that you guys can exchange ideas. Um, I think it's out there. So, like, if you... If you go to school, right, and you see all these people you don't know, it's like, okay, well, at, f at first glance, you really don't, you really don't want to try and make friends with these people because you don't really know when you're going to school, when, you go when you're going to college, you don't really know who these people are, so... <laughs> your basic instinct is to automatically withdraw because when you're going to these communities, like, you don't know anybody. So, in a way, it kind of makes it hard. It makes it harder to find motivation to really do anything if, like, you know, if you only have, like, either one or either, or either two people, like, supporting you, right? It's like, it's like, yeah, you may have those few people, but in, in reality, it's really not enough. It's not, it's really not enough, you know, and some people will get lucky. Some people will get lucky that they know multiple people, uh, more than, more than maybe like six or seven people, right? I'd say you're a lucky person if, if um, you've made connections, if you've already made connections with people that you already knew and they're supporting you. But, you know, I'm thinking most of, of the majority of the majority of us, you know, we don't have that we we don't have that many people supporting us, right? You know, for for people who who for people who think different, maybe like maybe they're the black sheep of the family. Maybe maybe like, you know, they just feel withdrawn because they feel like um they feel like they, you know, they can't tell if anybody else is re is reciprocating that energy back to you. Most of the time, when you meet certain people, they're they're already closed off. Their energy is already closed off to you because they don't they don't know you. So they don't feel they don't feel it's necessary for for them to talk to you because they don't they don't know you, right? And I say that it's gotten worse. It's gotten worse over time. You know, because people have people have their cell phones now. People have their iPads. You know, people always have earbuds in their ears. They're not paying attention to anybody. You know, and especially around this time, it's gotten worse. Um... Because everybody's just so disconnected. Nobody wants to talk to each other now more than ever in history. 
because everybody's just everybody just thinks that they have to be off doing their own thing. They don't think that anybody else is important, you know. So, and it's making it harder because now now people are people people are getting people are on the internet now more than ever. People are people are const constantly on the internet. People are constantly on the internet now more than ever, and they just feel like, you know, the cell phone is their friend, you know. So that that X's out anything having to do with a genuine personal interaction. Um, you know, and that's a fact right there, and that's why... That's why it's hard. That's why that's why they've made it so difficult for people to have per more personal genuine interactions because of the use of the internet and um the cell phone. Um Yeah, people just you know, people nowadays, people nowadays just think that the cell phone is all they need and they don't need to try and put themselves out there to, to meet other people. So I... I get jealous. I get jealous when um, I meet somebody and like they're able to travel the world. All I wa all I want all I want to do is travel the world and experience the world, but I can't I can't do that right now. I'm just not able to do that right now because I don't have money. <laughs> That's why and you know growing up growing up i did not freaking think about how my expectations here right now my age 36 i really did not think that you know my younger self really did not think that you know my life would my my life would end up being this way because, you know, as people, as people, we're seeing everybody else's life on the internet. And when we see other people's lives on the internet, most of us get jealous, right? Because, you know, they're doing things. They're, they're doing things. They, ha they, have, they have things that you don't have, right? As an individual. And so... If you feel like you don't have those things, if you feel like you don't have those things in life that you're seeing that other people have, then yeah, you're you're instantly gonna get jealous and you know just and when you're seeing these other people online, when you're seeing these other people online always posting photos, always posting photos of them with other people, they're, they're smiling, you know. It just seems like they have the perfect life going on for them, but it's just, I don't know. You know, it makes people, you know, it makes people who think that they don't, they can't acquire that life, you know, that they have. It makes most people think, Okay, well, I try. I I need to try my hardest to be like them on the internet. But when it doesn't work out, when it doesn't work out, you just seem to get disappointed. You you seem to get very disappointed and less motivated when you see that shit constantly happening on the internet and you're trying your hardest but nothing seems nothing seems to work out nothing seems to really work out in your favor
you know, and that's why, that's why everybody is distant because everybody is, everybody is low key jealous of one another. And this is what, this is what the internet has done. This is what people have come to realize, you know, and so, you know, <laughs> you know, some people, some people just get, some people just get bitter, you know, because they know that their life can't be like theirs. So, you know, I've learned just to, you know, not go on Facebook, not go on Twitter or anything, just staying to myself because I know that my life is not like their life. You know, my, my life is, uh, my life is low key, like bad, you know, according to quote unquote, other people's standards, people who like to post pictures on the internet all the time. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to do that because I just don't, I just don't have that life. You know, I just don't have that life, you know, people being happy, like having kids, you know, just, you know, just thinking di like way different from everybody else. The, you know, you're the black sheep, you know, you can't find any commonality with anybody else because you just don't, you just don't simply, you know, deep down inside, you just simply don't have that life. You don't, you know. And sometimes, sometimes circum certain circumstances that may have happened to you won't allow you to have that kind of life because of what happened to you, you know, because of your circumstances that happened while you were growing up as somebody, you know, and most people just... Most people just are beat down so bad that they have no they have no choice but to be a nobody. They have no choice, you know, and it's not our it's not our fault, you know. It's really not our fault. I got to say that. Because I have to say that, you know, we're living we're living in we're living in a corrupt system. We're living in a corrupt system throughout within society. And most of us, some of us just, just can't get hip to that. Some of most, some of us just can't get hip to, um, the kind of simulation that's being, you know, portrayed for everybody. So, if you just, you know, there's different caliber, there's different caliber of people and there's different caliber of mindsets, you know, and some of us, you know, we have no choice because the system, you know, we already, we're already smart enough to know that the system has already went against us. So... <laughs> It, I have to say again, it's not it's not our fault. It's not our fault. It's just we're wired differently. You know, our brains are just wired differently. You know, because the system the system wants people to be like subordinate. You know, like the system doesn't want people to become like free thinkers. Um, they don't want people to go outside of the status quo of, you know, what, you know, what it really is, you know, you know, they hate, you know, the system hates, the system hates these kinds of people, you know, you know, and they can already tell. It's just most people are not, most people have not become aware of this fact that, we're living, we're living in a, in a, in a system where the AI, the, the AI system has become so intelligent that it knows, 
It know you know it knows when to screw certain people over or not. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys because the algor sometimes I I notice the algorithms of you know this whole place whatever this whole place is per se right. You know, it's, it's, it's an intelligent system that can already um, pinpoint certain groups, certain people, you know. And then the system rewards the people that have become subordinate to, the, you know, the system itself. They don't want anybody, they don't want anybody thinking for themselves. They don't want anybody to be different. They don't want anybody to think outside the box, you know, to have these mindsets to where like, okay, well, what if, what if, you know, such and such and such. So I have to end with this. I want to end with. It's been harder for me to find motivation because. I feel like I don't have enough support coming from people. That's why I don't. And people will say, oh, well, just give yourself, give yourself self-motivation. It's like, well, okay, it's harder. It's harder for you to have self-motivation if you don't have people supporting you back. Of course, it's much harder when that is that is a thing for you it, you know it only makes sense you know and i say again you may have you know you may you may have a few people a few truly good people like backing you up giving you all the support you need a few good people but really that is not enough it's not enough you know, like we need like a whole group. We need a whole tribe of people supporting us, backing us. But for some people, that just, it's not even, it's not even, it's not even a thing for most people. Because most people are disconnected. Most people have become slaves um, zombies to their cell phones, right? And this is, and this is what's really the problem. Everybody is just so disconnected. Nobody can make connections for real. It's all about who can get, who can get what out of the other person. It's not, it's not truly genuine anymore. Friend, friendships and family are not truly genuine anymore. You know, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you'll, you'll just have a few people backing you up, but that's it. That's it. That's it. You know, everybody else, everybody else could care less. You know, everybody else could care less about your goals. Everybody else could care less about what you what what your dreams are in life. You know, some sometimes sometimes it's just all about oh yeah, well I'll talk to you, but you got to figure all this freaking shit out on your own. And it's just like sometimes it's just like <laughs> that's so lame. Like I wish I had. I, you know, I wish I had a community backing me up, a freaking group of people backing me up to giving me motivation. And then I would give them motivation back. But it just, it just, it just, some, it just doesn't seem like it's that way anymore.